What the f Where's my car? My car is literally gone right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I last posted. I don't know, it's been really, really busy this past couple weeks. And I think this week I just needed some time to recharge the batteries and you know, think of some new ideas, but I'm back. Today, um, I will be going to the spa. I've never done this before, doing this whole full spa makeover thing with Derek. Uh, we're gonna be doing mani pedis. Might even, like, remove some hairs on some, you know, parts of that I don't really want to discuss right now, but you'll see later on the video. Um, but yeah, I've uh, never done it before. Super excited. I'm gonna bring you guys along. I'm Indian. I'm full Indian. Derek's half Indian, so we're both pretty hairy dudes, and it's gonna, it's gonna, I don't know. Oh, God, I don't know why am I doing this. This is my life now. This is my life. Uh, that is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm just gonna head over to Derek's house to pick him up, and yeah, kind of pan over to the next step right now. Hey, right now. Sup? Wait, what? Car parked outside? What the fuck? What the f***? Where's my car? My car is literally gone right now. I'll call my dad to see if he knows anything about this. My sister. It's at work right now. The answer? The FaceTime call to dad. All right, I'm just gonna call my dad right now. See if he knows anything about it. Are you kidding me right now? I'm, there's no way my mom or my sister would know anything about this. Did Derek? Derek is the type of person that would do that for FaceTime him. I swear to God, if he's playing a prank on me, I'm gonna be so fing pissed. Come on, answer. Are you kidding me? Now, Derek won't even answer the goddamn phone either. Oh, and there he is. Hello? What's up, dude? Yo, what'd you do? What I do? Dude, my car is gone! Why are you smiling? Why are you smiling right now? What do you mean? Why am I- Wait, 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 wait. My car is f***ing gone! Why is your car gone? Cause you probably f***ing did something. You probably did like, pull, pulling a prank on me or some shit, dude. Dude, I need my car. Where is it? Oh, now he froze. Oh my god, poor connection. He, I know he's like, it has to be him, it has to be him. It's always him, he always screws with me. Oh, now there he is again. Hello? Dude, what's going on? What? You know what, I just called you asking you about, like, my car, and, now you, just, and you just hung up? My, my internet connection sucks, you know that. My car is gone. What do I, what am I supposed to do? Dude, my car is not outside. I thought it was in the garage. It wasn't in the garage. So I thought my dad would have moved it outside. It's not outside either. I'm trying to call my dad. He's not picking up. First instinct is that I stole your car. Dude, you would do something like this. It was like a prank or something. Derek, I swear to God, you've done a lot of sh** to me. I'm not even joking. Yo, this is a good thing. That car sucks. What the hell? You should really be more worried about this. No, okay, okay, fine. Come pick me up and uh, I need... Dude, I can't do it right now, can I? Because you stole my car. Why am I the bad guy? Why Dude, you? you literally screwed me over so many times. You know what? You know what, you, basketball. You can make your own video today. I'm staying home, okay? Screw off. Dude, no. What the hell? This guy literally stole my car. I know he did. I know. Why would he need to take 10 minutes? Oh, now he's calling me again. Hello? Uh, that, was, that, was, that was a little bit on call to work. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm coming. What, what, what the hell? What happened? I'll come pick you up. Guys, this sucks. Derek has always hated my car, okay? I know he took it. He, he had to have taken it. Let me call my mom. Hey Siri, FaceTime mom. Making a FaceTime call to mom. Well, mom's not picking up now either. Oh. Hello? Mom is picking up right now. You what? Someone stole my car. Yay! What the fuck? All right, you know what? That was a bit uncalled for. My mom hates my car too. What do I do? 
All right, I'm just gonna turn the camera off for now and hopefully Derek comes here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna confront him about this. All right, you guys, Derek just came by right now. <sighs> Took him seven minutes to get here. Seven minutes. That's two minutes more than he should have taken. Clearly, he's hiding something right now. And I'm gonna find out what it is. All right, so seven minutes it took you. Seven minutes. It took me seven minutes. It was a five minute car ride and it took seven minutes. What was that two minutes? What were you doing in that two minutes? What were you doing in that two minutes, Derek? Jeff, I have a life, okay? My life doesn't revolve around coming to pick you up from your house. Well, okay? it kind of does. We spend literally every single day together. Yeah, but Jeff, well, okay, I'm sorry I took two minutes. Why are you saying sorry now, huh? Clearly you took the car. Can Can I ever car? win? Will I ever win in this situation? I didn't take your car. Why? I don't want that piece of garbage. Yeah, okay, why are you calling it a piece of garbage? Because now? it sucks. Why are you treating it in such a way? Okay. I feel like you're just trying to cover it up, trying to, trying, trying to dumb it down. The clutch doesn't work. Okay, well, you know what? It, it, that's the part of the car. It makes you a better driver. <laughs> I have footage in my video of your car not even working. Like it literally was okay, like, you know it what? was like this, it was like it Yeah, was but, it, but it was still running. It was still running, okay? It was still drivable. So clearly you took something. You you, you did something to it. You did something to it. I know you did. I can't you drive probably, it manual. You probably paid somebody. You probably paid someone to do it. I know you would. What I know you would. Well, you're not thinking straight. You're very paranoid. I understand Derek, you're probably Derek, scared. You're like, I, I didn't take it. So what, so, okay, so it wasn't outside. Did you leave it outside? No, I, I parked it inside because it's old and it gets frosted and the door's locked. So you checked the garage. Yeah. You checked outside. I checked the garage. I checked outside. I even, your I even, uncle has it or I something? I even went down the street, bro, and nothing there. My uncle's at work. I checked inside the garage. Nothing in there's garage either. Do you see any, any sobs? No. That's the Mustang parked there. Maybe I hid your car under the tarp. Want to go check? No. It's too cold. My sob's super hot fire. Dude, what am I going to do now? What? What am I gonna do? Uh, what do you mean? There's only one thing you can do. You know what to do. Call the police? Are you stupid? What? That's something you could, you should have done about two hours ago. That's, you're too late to call the police, Jazz Paul. No, I'm not. You got, you got two of the best car hunters in the world, the two best secret agents sitting in this room. Jazz Paul, how long is he, how long do you think this video is? Four minutes? Maybe five? You need footage. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You think I'm gonna do this? You think I'm gonna waste time when the robbers are, are riding away into the sunset with my beauty? <laughs> for a video? <laughs> you know what? I guarantee nobody stole your car. Nobody wants it. There's probably some other explanation that you haven't thought of because you're too stupid. No. But if they, if somebody stole it, if somebody stole it, nobody steals my best friend's car and gets away with it, okay? That really hurt. Uh, you need to man up. We're gonna find it. You know like that movie where the guys find cars? Fast and Furious. They don't like cars to steal cars. Oh, what? Um, you mean Duke's bad? Do, do the, uh, do they they do don't it? steal cars either. They just have a nice car. Well, that's definitely cars not something. That's have? definitely not something you have. Um, that's not very nice to say. Like cops, the, the show where they find people. We'll be cops. We're cops, Jazz yeah, Paul. Finding people, not cars. Why are you such a big pussy? Okay. I'm not gonna be a pussy anymore. I'm gonna have some five to one bar. I'm gonna find this motherfucker. Yeah. What do you have to say? I want a terrible adventure, bitch. <laughs> Yeah! Alright guys, seriously, um, I'm really letting the robbers get away with my car because I want to film this for you guys. So please, like and share the video. <laughs> Subscribe if you can. I'm literally giving my car away for this. Alright guys, I guess it's determined now that we are going to be going on an adventure to find the motherfuckers who took my car. I don't know how this is going to be possible because we have no training in this at all. But, you know what? If it's one thing we're good at, it's bullshitting. So we're gonna find a way. I'm not joking, guys. Like, seriously, my car is actually gone. I don't know where my car is. Like, you think that, aha, uh -huh, it's a bit. No, it's not a bit. I genuinely do not know where my car is. I've called my dad. Has no idea where he is right now. I've called, like, he's not picking up. He's at work. But, you know, he usually picks up my phone. I call my mom, and you saw that. She just laughed in my face. She says, oh, good, good job. The fing box is gone now. So, uh, that's no help. And I got Derek, and Derek clearly doesn't have my car right now. So, instead of calling the police, I have decided- Jack, well, I found your car! Somebody's selling it online, look! What?! Are you kidding me? They're selling it online! That's a piece of shit! Yeah, your car. Derek, I swear to God, I want to stop the <laughs> shit out of you! <laughs> where, are gonna, where, are gonna, where are we gonna go look for it first? Wait, I'm, this, this calls for something. Viewer discretion is advised. What you want? What you want? What you gonna do? Good? No, uh, not, not, uh, not, 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 not,
This isn't going really, really well, good. you guys. This is not going to all right now. No, um, I feel I feel like I feel like that made us look really cool. Yeah? Yeah. That was good. That was fing terrible. <laughs> We are finally on the hunt. Whoever you are, if you're going down, I swear to God. So I was a bad guy, and I stole a car. I knew exactly where I, was, I should be going to get that car. Where? Huh? Where are we going? I know exactly where to go. Just, just go. Just take a left here, and then okay. uh, take a right afterwards. So this is where people take stolen, like. This is notorious. If, if it was me, I would take it here. When you told me it got stolen, I was kind of happy for a little bit there. Why? 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 Why do you say that? How long have I been telling you that you need to get a new car? Well, you know what? I don't need to have a new car because new cars are all full of it. They have these like high-tech features and Apple CarPlay. Like, who needs that? You know, it's all about the driving experience. Your car doesn't drive properly. All right, mate. We're gonna find this fucking bugger. Oh yeah, mate. We got Jazz and Derek on the case. Yes. Yeah, Therefore, and if we don't find your car, I know I know there's one thing that we can do that'll make all of this better. You're gonna buy me a new car? We're gonna go to McDonald's. Don't don't worry about it, man. We're gonna find your car. We will find I'm it. I'm literally recording this. This is so stupid. I should be calling the police. But it's but you're a YouTuber first, okay? <laughs> what the I'm literally sacrificing my car for the views. <laughs> How sad is that? I have, Derek has corrupted me so much where I'm using my car. My baby, the one that has been there for me no matter who, through thick and thin, through ice and through perfect sunny weather, through rain and through fog. There's mold in the trunk. That's There's a moldy trunk. That's not. That's worth a lot of money. I was there before. There's no <laughs> cup holders. None. No, because you, you know how hard it is to find a car with no cup holders nowadays. They, they don't want you to get distracted by drinking something. The volume knob doesn't work, guys. Yeah, because the volume knob doesn't work. Because it's already, it's always set to the perfect volume. It always. Why do you have to go low? Why do you have to lower the volume or go up? Who f cares, right? right? Exactly. Next clip. Derek is just. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. All right, guys, we're back. Um, didn't really go anywhere. We're still, we're still in the same car. It's, right, it's like really close to the auto mall. Oh, is it like a junkyard or like some sort of place where people would bring really old cars? Um, like there's dealerships. Yeah. You're not saying you think your car is no. Have to turn, just turn in here. I, I'll show you. Okay. Your, your car isn't at the auto mall, Jasper. What do you mean? Are you? Kidding me. Do you think they would bring your car here? Look at these cars. Why would these cars? nothing exactly nothing? What, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? Well, we were gonna, I was gonna scope out to see what kind of de like dealership would take my car. So, what was your plan once you got here? I was gonna go to the Mercedes Benz dealership or like the Range Rover dealership and see if they were able to, like, you know, they had my car on, on the lot and I was gonna buy it back. <laughs> what you've said and done a lot of stupid. Sh but I really think this takes the cake. It's so hard being your, it's so hard being your friend. What do you mean? I, I, on the way here, I was like, okay, it's gonna be right next to the auto mall, maybe a nice junk card, and you bring us to the auto mall. Yes. Yeah, no one's gonna steal your Can we just go to Mercedes to check it out? Jazz Paul. Can you please just drive? I'm not, dri you can get the f out of my car and walk. That's I don't see any steaming piles of horse on their lot. Oh, that's a green one right there. Oh no, that's a G-Wagon. That's a G-Wagon. Well, there's Lexus. They might be able to return. Uh, no, I can't. You know what? I think I have to get out and look. Jazz Paul. Why? We're leaving. We're leaving this stupid f***ing lot. We're going somewhere where somebody would actually take your car. Okay? Who would take my car then? Nobody would take your car. I don't know who has your car. I don't know 
why somebody would steal it unless they're gonna sell it for parts. That's the only thing that's logical. They're not gonna take it to a dealership, Jaspol. They could trade it in. For what? A fucking hot dog? Turn off the camera, we'll figure this out, and we'll actually find your car instead of driving around a lot that sells $100,000 cars. Just turn off the camera. Fine. Hi, blue, 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 blue. Is that a good transition? No. Can't do anything right anymore. I don't have my sob. If I have my sob, I'd be able to do that. All right, you guys. Well, Derek decided to go to our next destination. I just wanted to be safe again. You know, the, the more you call her by her name, the more it's going to hurt when you don't get her back. You know what? Bertha will come back to me. All right, guys. So, uh, Derek decided to drive us over to this, like, shitty, sh like, yes, this car place. area parking. This, this, this place is notorious for having all the worst, dirtiest, most disgusting cars in Richmond. So if somebody's gonna steal your car, they're gonna bring it here. I thought it'd be best for us to get here, split up, maybe you go that way, I'll go this way, and then we'll see what we can find. But this looks really, really shady. Yeah, it, that's, somebody stole your car, where do you think they're gonna bring it? I told you to the auto mall, but you won't believe me. So what am I supposed to do? If you find your car at the auto mall, I will give you a million dollars, okay? Cause it's not there, it's gonna be here. You go that way, I'm gonna go this way and we're gonna find the sob. Okay. Sob on three. One, One two, two, three, sob! Oh, right, you guys, I don't want Derek's texting me right now. They're calling me. Hello? You found the sob? Okay, okay, bye, bye, bye. Okay, apparently Derek has found the sob. Derek has found the sob, oh my God, oh my God. Yo! Are you? Are you kidding me, Derek? I have saved the day. It is now time to finally see Derek did something right. It's right here. That's not the sob. It's a sob, but it's not my sob. Find the two-door hatchback. I don't know what that means. My car is green, Derek. Maybe they, the person stole and got in a paint job. I think it's your car. Derek, are you kidding me right now? Derek, this sucks. Someone stole my car. Wow. Let's just this one right now. This can be your new Are you song. kidding me? This can no. be your new song. We're not doing that, no. All right, you guys, so I guess it's time to regroup because uh, that was a complete disaster. The man's my best friend, has been in my car every single day almost, and he does not know the color of the car, what it looks like. Hey, come on, bro. I'm really disappointed right now. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm just super depressed right now. You're super depressed? Yeah. You know what? I know exactly what to do. What? What do you mean? Five. McDonald's? <laughs> McDonald's? What do you think this is? What, your little, your little toy car got stolen? That's McDonald's, bro. Five words. <sighs> yeah. You're damn right. Suck my big dick. That's four words. <laughs> Hard? <laughs> oh, fuck. Five words. That means... <sighs> Buy one, get one free? Are we getting some Starbucks right now? Yeah, we are getting some Starbucks. <laughs> Change your mood. Now you're happy. You totally forgot the Hell fact yeah. that somebody stole your car and you're never gonna see it again. Big Bertha's gone, but you're fine because of Starbucks. And you're also gonna have to pay. I left my wallet at home. Yeah, this is awesome. All right, you guys. Well, um, Derek ordered our drinks from Starbucks, and somehow but they wrote sob. They wrote sob? Yeah. Why? Why would they write that, Derek? I don't know. The lady huh? said, "What? What's your name?" And I just said, "Just write down the shittiest thing you can think of." Okay. Well, that was. Call no, no, yeah, no, she said, what's your name? And I said, the sh thing you think of, she's like, I can't do that. I'm like, okay, just write something that my buddy Jasper will never, ever get back. And so she wrote that. We're never finding this car. I mean, it's, it's gone. Why are you being so mean? I'm not being mean, Jazz Paul. It's called, it's called tough love. And you really, need to take off, you really need to take off that dumb necklace. <laughs> but the sob gave it to me. <laughs> All right, Jazz Paul, I'm gonna tell you something right now. What? I took your car. Just kidding. Ah, got him. Yeah! All right, you guys, well, um, this has been a total disaster. Uh, we were supposed to be like two detectives and try to find the perp who took our car, or took my car, and I've, I don't wanna say I failed. Hey, we tried our best, we tried our best. We tried our best, that's all that matters at the end of the day. I think it's time to just get the police involved because we don't know what we're doing. All right, you guys, well, um, I'm still got my, my shoes that off in the car. What shoes? Oh, the cleats? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> all right, guys, so, I guess I have to call the police now because I can't find my car anywhere. Yes, Paul! What? Are you serious? Are you... What? Are you actually that stupid? What are you talking I about? I asked you if you checked your goddamn garage for your stupid car. I did. And you said you did. You did! 
You checked your garage, Jazz Ball. Congratulations! What the hell? Congratulations! Derek, that was not here before. I <laughs> swear to God, that was not here before. You literally told. Are you that Jazz Ball? We've been running around for five hours searching your car. Derek, I did not see this before. Are you stupid? I, I did I not see it before! You told me you checked the garage! I asked you and you said you did! You I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask my sister, I'm gonna ask my sister right now. Yeah. She's home, I, I swear to god, what the hell? I, that was not there before! Oh Priya! Yeah? Okay, well, uh, do you know what happened to my car? Why is it, why is it here now? Oh, um, dad didn't tell you? He took it to get it fixed this morning to the mechanic. What? Yeah. Why didn't anyone tell me this? I thought you knew, he brought it back later today. And you parked it inside the garage. Dad parked in the garage. You brought it back like later this afternoon. I thought he told you. It's been there. Yeah, I've been gone for five hours trying to find it. I tried calling dad, he wouldn't pick up. I called mom, she's like, oh, oh. she just laughed in my face and just said, off, pretty much. And then I, tr I didn't even think you would know anything about this. How come you didn't tell me this? You were sleeping at the time when you took it. I just thought he told you. I didn't know. Not my fault, you're a dumbass. You should have just called dad and asked him where's my car. Um. Alright, so, so apparently my dad took it to the mechanic this morning and he didn't tell me. He took the spare key. He brought it back now and uh, no one told me. Apparently my sister knew, but she didn't think to tell me about it. But you know, didn't your dad talk about taking it to the mechanic with you a couple days ago? Yeah, but I didn't think he was going to do it today. And he said, "Can't you put one and one together?" I th I thought he was I thought he was gonna like talk about it with me more. We were just we were just having a casual conversation. Jasper, I legit cannot take your stupid mind. Derek, it wasn't my fault. My head's gonna explode. It wasn't my fault. How was it not your fault? You go watch the footage. I was not here this morning. I okay. was not here this morning. It wasn't here this morning. Okay, yeah, maybe you should have called your dad. I did call my dad. He wasn't picking up. So maybe you should have waited until he told you. Until he asked I, I didn't have time to wait, okay? I thought so I used first I used my quick thinking to get past this thing. I was like, okay, you know what? I have to get the guys right away. You use your first instinct to think that I stole your goddamn car. Oh, when your yeah. dad took it to the mechanics, Jazz Ball. You've done a lot worse, I'm not gonna lie. You know what? Don't like we just need a break for like a good week of just us not talking to each other. Dang. Just don't talk to me. Don't do anything. Don't come to my house. Don't tag me in Instagram photos. If you are, it's at Derek underscore Gerard, but that's besides the point. So what does that mean? What again? Film together anymore? Uh, well, I mean, we're filming tomorrow, but I just, oh, yeah. you'll get more views if people think we're not talking to each other. Okay, yeah. But I hate you! I am actually f***ing pissed! At least my baby's back! You know what? I'm gonna go take a in your car. No! No! You shut up my f***ing car! Can I say? Guess you could call me a Jaybird. Is it sad to say that I f***ing I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright you guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to be like a quick baby video, but I genuinely thought my car was stolen. And being a YouTuber now, Derek convinced me to film the whole events of today. Are you blaming this on me? I'm not blaming you. Uh, okay, I, first of all, I was gonna call the police. It's not my fault. No one tells me anything around here. Alright? And who convinced you not to call the police? Derek Gerard. This is really smart. This me <laughs> what if you would have called the police? Huh? The police would have thought you were the biggest dumbass in the history of the planet. Shit. But anyways, uh, yeah. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video because uh, I'm gonna be paying for this later on from Derek. I definitely know that. Uh, we wasted about five to six hours trying to find my car around Richmond. We drove around looking for my car. I went to the auto mall, okay? That's even dumb for me! But anyways, uh, I guess today's shout out, well deserved. Uh, it's Derek Gerard. Um, don't, don't even shout me out. Fine. I guess that's it. I guess that's the end of Dare Paul. <sighs> that's it. I guess that's the end of Dare Paul. <laughs> that's, that's a good run. Just kidding. Hey! Uh, I still uh, you. Okay. Well. All right. But in all seriousness, I gotta shout out someone who is uh, a true follower, a true fan, and I appreciate you. And that is Fernando. Thank you so much for the love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, turn post notifications on. No, you guys. But seriously, uh, I really do appreciate you guys a lot. I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey! <laughs> <laughs>